I'm Stacy Grossfeld. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Louisville. This morning I'm going to talk about how do I know if I've torn my rotator cuff. I get that question asked to me almost every day. So the first thing is the most common symptom of a rotator cuff tear is pain at night. Pain where you just can't fall asleep. Not so much that you fall asleep, you roll on your shoulder and you wake up because it hurts. That's more associated with the tendonitis. But pain where you just can't fall asleep, you're lying in bed, your shoulder hurts, and it really disrupts your sleep pattern. The second symptom is pain located on the side of the shoulder. So people with rotator cuff tears will hurt right here. They'll hurt all through this area. Even though the rotator cuff is attached a bit higher up on the shoulder, the pain is referred to this area of the arm. So if it hurts in the front, not your rotator cuff. If it hurts in the back by your shoulder blade or by your neck, not your rotator cuff. Rotator cuff pain hurts on the side of the shoulder. If you felt a pop at the time of the injury, so you were lifting something, you were pulling on something, and you felt a pop, not a good sign. That's very frequently associated with a rotator cuff tear. So a pop with pain located here, pain at night where you just can't fall asleep, typically that's a sign of a rotator cuff tear. Also, another sign is it's very difficult to raise your arm. You basically use your rotator cuff from about 70 degrees to about 140 degrees. So you're gonna have a difficult time doing anything in this plane. Working at waist level, no problem. If you can get your arm up past 140 degrees, no problem. But in this plane, you'll have difficulty pain, difficulty raising your arm. That's typically a sign of a rotator cuff tear. Thank you.